Hello, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Byron? Uh, hi, love. How are you, people? Nice. Everything working fine? Yes, okay, Andrea de Janara. How are you doing? Nice, teacher. Nice, that's good. To... Good evening. Nice for a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yes. good evening. Monday sometimes we feel ah, it's terrible. Hello, but Maria. Was a good nice evening. Monday. Night, yeah. Was a nice. Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah, me too. You know, I rested. I rested a lot, and different activities, right? But in the end, it was very nice. I think I I enjoy it. Okay. What about? Um, Okay, let me check. Okay, we're about to section two. We had, I think it was almost the end, the reading. Okay, we're going to get started with this. I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving... Okay, I'm going to review a little bit about the imperatives for you to remember, right, in case you have any doubts or questions. Suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check. At the beginning, we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure. Make sure. Don't forget. Remember. Try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box.
Okay. Now let's. Okay, now we have some imperatives, like for example, we have um, a don't forget to. Suggestions, be sure to. Okay, take a look at the affirmative sentence. Okay, you can say, be sure to, you know, to study for the test tomorrow, okay? Make sure you are ready uh, to present your, uh, uh, to give your presentation. Uh, don't forget to go to bed uh, early and rest enough before the exam. Okay, remember to bring all the material to your class. These are positive things that you can tell a student, right? Or, a, or somebody uh, as a good advice, right? Now, if you want to use a negative form, you can say, be sure not to speak uh, Spanish in class, okay, in the English class, of course. Uh, make sure not to forget the vocabulary that we study every day, okay? That is an advice for the people to keep the, the new vocabulary alive. Uh, uh, let's say, well, in this one, in the case of don't forget, it's already made. You say don't forget to. Remember not to. Okay? Remember not to uh, not to log in late. Okay? Remember not to uh, let's say remember not to what? Uh, not to get up not to get up too late, okay? Set the alarm. Uh, try, try not to mispronounce the words. Try not to be shy in class, okay? So these are, for example, some commands that we could use, okay, when we are talking about this expression, right? Uh, like you can write here in the discussion box. They say, for example, here we can use imperatives, right? Imperatives. Okay, and here you can write, or you can write, for example, uh, affirmative and negative. Okay. Well, remember. Not to. Not to log in late. Okay. Try to study every day. Remember that when we use the the a, when we use this imperatives in this is in general, right? When I say try to study every day, so the command the imperative is for everybody. Okay, this is an advice, a suggestion. I, I can also use the word uh, please, right? When you say, for example, please try to do all the exercises in the platform, right? This is a request. I am requesting, I am asking you, please try, to, but I use the word please. When I use the word please, it's not an order, okay? But if I say, for example, okay, everybody, um uh, work on the platform right do all the exercises in the platform right now that's an order that's a command okay so you see depending how we use it that is the connotation that you have if i say okay everybody do the exercises now order okay 
Okay, guys, please do the exercise now. Request asking. Okay, don't forget to do the exercises yet on the platform. It's a suggestion. Okay, the same idea in different tones with uh, please don't do this. And then you change from suggestion, request, and order. Okay, that is an imperative. The imperative is in general, but I, you can also make it more personal. And if I say, for example, uh, Johnny, turn on your camera. This is for Johnny, right? Johnny, turn on your camera. Okay, uh, we can say, for example, Jimmy, turn off your microphone. Okay, so this is, you know, directly to Johnny, directly to Tom. Okay, so this is the difference. And this, these two sentences that I wrote here, they are in general. Okay, so you can add some other uh, sentences, right? And then I will be checking the platform also so that I can see that, that you are using also the discussion boxes, you know, with your own sentences. It can be affirmative, negative, or any other, right? That would be no problem. Okay. So we have here seven sentences. Okay, Stephanie, could you please read the first one? Here it says, read the suggestions, which ones refer to the alarm system, a cell phone, a laptop computer, or any of the three. Okay, Stephanie, tell me. Stephanie, can you hear me? Hello, hello. No. Well, okay, maybe she's not there. Okay, Juan Carlos. What is the number one? Well, Juan Carlos. Wait, somebody. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. What's the number one? Uh, alarm system, cell phone, or laptop? Uh, maybe laptop computer. Okay, it says try to keep it close to protect the screen. Uh, yeah. Think. Okay, good. No problem. Thanks. Okay. Scissor. Thank Don't forget to write down your secret code. Okay. Alarm system, cell phone, laptop. That's difficult. Um, uh, cell phone. Probably cell phone. Could be the three. Okay, nice. Uh, Kenya. Kenya Jamilet. Number three. Remember to turn off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm systems. Alarm system, yeah, sounds logical. Very good. Ana Martinez. Number four. Tell me this, sir. Yes. Tell me this, sir. Number four. Uh huh. Uh, it's a try not to get it wet or the chips may may get stuck. Uh, laptop computer. Laptop computer. Yes. That's more delicate. Good. Herbert. Number five. 
System. Alarm system as well, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Number six, Angel. Angel, number six. No. Okay. Uh, Luis Miguel, number six. Uh, your microphone's not working, Miguel. Luis. Yes. Yes. Can you hear Luis Miguel? Yes. Really? Yes, yes. teacher. I yes. can. But I can't. I can hear you all <laughs> except Luis Miguel. That's weird. Speak, Luis Miguel. Say something. No. Can you hear him? Yes. Teacher, he wants to know. Uh, about the bat batteries. The batteries. Yes. He wants to know about the pronunciation. Okay. Okay. It says remember to recharge the batteries before they die. Okay. But it's weird that I cannot hear him. <laughs> yes. Okay, who wants to tell me what he's saying? Uh, what's your answer, Miguel? Uh, he said the cell phone. The cell phone, okay. Thank you, Maria. Okay, Maria, now you tell me number, well, the last one, number seven. Oh, the last one. Uh, so wait. Be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake, wake you up. I, I think it's alarm system. Yeah, alarm system. Okay. Now let's Be check. Sure. Yes. Uh, about the the exercise, uh, mm -hmm. the, it's a practice about the imperative. Yes. When I did it, when I did it, the 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 homework, it was difficult for me. Uh huh. Yeah, Sometimes because sometimes I try to uh, mm -hmm. guess. Yes. Sometimes I I try to guess uh -huh. because I I. Sometimes I don't know that. About yeah, because in this one, when they say, don't forget to write down your secret code, um, it could be the cell phone, the laptop, but probably cell phone and laptop may, may be used a password, right? And for a large system, they use a code. Okay, so that's the explanation. But depends, because I have a, a cell phone that it, asks me for a code, not for a password. So then, and this one, alarm system, in there you can say, be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up, right? So when you go to bed, you turn off your cell phone so that you can rest, not to be um, disturbed by a phone call. Okay, and Anna, what you were saying about this is, is right, it's correct. Uh, remember that sometimes imperatives also 
are verbs that you can use in a very personal way, right? Uh, sometimes, but we don't have to do, uh, what, we, what we have to, to try is to be polite, okay? If you are going to use an imperative verb with, a, with your brother, with your sister, with your mother, uh, with uh, your boss, your supervisor, or anybody, right? Then you have to be uh, very polite. Please don't forget to do this. Uh, try to do this. I suggest uh, that uh, not to forget this. But sometimes, right? If you are in in a in a position of authority, in a position of power, and sometimes it's necessary to be a little more demanding, right? And then you can give an order, right? For example, with children, if you are a father or a mother. Sometimes children, you ask them and tell them and repeat and tell them and repeat the same and they never do anything. So you can go and say, okay, Carlitos, stand up. Okay, take a shower. No, I don't want to take, take a shower, okay? No, I don't want to go to the bathroom right now and take a shower. So those are imperatives, but all of them, okay? In some cases, it's necessary, right? In some cases, it could be but not with other people, right? With other people, we try to be uh, polite. But not necessary uh, always using the uh, pronoun. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, with the imperatives, we don't use uh, pronouns because it's a, it's a general way to say it, right? Now, if you want to sound more, a sentence more personal, yes, right? You can do it and then you can use the subject, okay? For example, you can say, uh, hey, Rebecca, uh, answer this question, okay? But, I can't, but this is because I want Rebecca to answer the question in the group. Okay, I want to be more specific. But if I want, okay, people, okay, then uh, answer these questions. And I put here in the screen three questions. And I say, answer these questions. That's for everybody. Okay, that is, a, let's say, like a request. Okay, answer these questions, please like an order, okay, answer these questions right now, okay, quickly, quickly, answer the questions, okay, then order, okay, uh, please answer these questions, okay, that is more uh, a request in a polite, good manner, okay, so it depends, you can use them according to the situation, that's very flexible, if we are angry, <laughs> Okay, we are angry then, be careful. Okay, Rebecca, are you an angry girl? Do you get angry easily? And don't say by what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Rebecca seems to be quiet, nice. No se enoja, Rebecca. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, excuse me, um, uh, ¿Cuál es la, la, la tarea? No, 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 don't worry. It's only an example. Ah, okay. It's only an example, right? Don't worry. Okay, good. So you see, this is, for example, when you say, uh, get, do this, okay? Do, don't do, forget, don't forget, okay? Imperatives. Questions? It's not an uh, order. It could be, it could be an order depends on the on the con on the expression the connotation and how the tone that we use yes can be an order like in the in the army in the navy okay the sergeant says okay okay uh how do you call this uh probably you can go and ask them to to the troop okay okay stand up okay uh, go to the shower run 10 kilometers okay stand here go there uh, clean your boots, clean your uniforms, okay, do this, go to bed, and do the cleaning, 
then that's, those are orders, 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 commands. Okay. But it's the Navy. In the it's the army. Uh -huh, yes, they, they have to obey, right? When you are in the job. Uh, in, 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 some, in some jobs, in some jobs, yes. In some others, it's less. But the bo some bosses, yes, okay, okay, bring the report, okay, uh, make the letter, answer the phone, okay, uh, talk to the client, okay, make the request, okay, uh, uh, make the checks, sign this, sign that, okay, so then some bosses, you know, uh, in some moments of the month, they are very bossy. You know the word bossy? Okay, no, so I don't, I, sometimes I, 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 didn't, I, don't, I don't, don't know. know. Okay, bossy. So, algunos jefes verben mandones, right? Bossy. Mm -hmm. That's right, boss, bossy. Okay. And then it's a bossy guy. It's okay. Okay, everybody now. Okay, come early. Okay, don't go early. Uh, finish your lunch on time. Uh, what else? Probably come on Saturday, work on Sunday, work in your house, okay? Uh, make the reports on time. So they are only giving orders, orders, okay? It happens, okay? Good. Now look at this one, it says, uh, this is an article about technology, about the future. I think we've read it. But this is not about the future. This is about the past. It's 2020. Okay, good. Now let's see who wants to read the first part. One volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, good. Go, Cesar. People used to, this section. People used to know more or less how their children would like. Now things, now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in, in a few years. What follows, what follows is how experts see the future. Okay, good. No problem with this paragraph, people? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, good. Who wants to read the next paragraph? You are daydreaming. My volunteer? Me. Okay, Maria, you're daydreaming. You're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have, you have it on you had it on automatic pilot, and with its high-tech computers, you can know how to get you home safely. Okay, good. You know, this is, you know, when we are driving, but we are thinking yeah. about the, I don't know, about problems, about, or about good things that you would like to have, right? But in this case, they are, they are selling the idea that you have a, car that drives with an automatic pilot. Good. Your head, you head for the kitchen. What do you want to, who wants to read this? Me. Okay, Andrea. You head for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer an hour ago and they will be delivered. You pay for them before they arrive. The money was automatically, I don't know how to automatically, say it. Automatically. 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 Click, use, automatically. Automatically. They use from your bank account. Nobody use cash anymore. Okay. You see that nowadays, only the people who wants to use cash uses cash. But nowadays you can pay from your house, you make a, you transfer money from one account to another account. You can use your credit card. You make a call to the supermarket. You order the food. You pay with the credit card. They bring the food. 
and you don't have to touch money and you don't have to go out. The same with the delivery food. Uh, you can order uh, different things from Amazon, okay? And also you pay with the credit card. So nowadays the cash uh, use is reducing, right? But many people is still using this uh, this also this way to pay is paying cash uh, what's for lunch who wants to read what's for lunch teacher what is the meaning of you had you had for the you, kitchen you are going to the kitchen you go to the kitchen when you get home okay oh okay mm -hmm. thank it's you it's like go uh -huh. you're welcome sir okay who wants to read what's for lunch me teacher Okay, Anna, go ahead. After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Do you have? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's the one, the previous, the previous one, uh, Anna. What's for lunch? The last one here. Oh, the. Okay. What's for lunch? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's for lunch in the old days? Use to stop up to get a hamburger or pizza. Now would you use your diagnostic 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 machine to find out which food your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes your a salad. Very good. Okay. Nice. Okay, then uh is uh, Luis Miguel. Okay, Luis Miguel, let me see if I can hear you now again. Hello. I can't hear you, but uh, read the next one after lunch. The your partners will listen to you. No, oh, after lunch, yeah, after lunch. Okay, good. I couldn't hear you as I said before, but I don't know why, what is going on, but it's okay. So after lunch, you go down the hall in your home office, and here you have everything you need to do your work. There are many personal uh, bear t-shirts. Yes, that's correct. Yes, Martin, tell me. Okay. Uh, I read the, the, the next part. Your, infor your information, yes. Your information screen says that you received a, a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You said your computer, computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your co-worker's face appears on the screen. And the translation appears at the bottom. Oh, hey, that's nice. I don't know if this exists, but uh, is there a submission from a coworker? Okay, Portuguese into English. Okay, sounds good. Probably in other countries already exists. And Byron, read the last one. You finish. Okay. Uh, sorry, you finished working. My dog is <laughs> it's barking. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, you finish working and go back to your drive room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It, it's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic? tonight maybe back to the future maybe back to the future yes okay good so this is for example you know um a similar to what we have probably now in the platforms right we have i don't know netflix hbo disney disney channel everything you can see the menu right the list of movies that you can see and then you have 
a choice. You don't need to go to the cinema anymore. Okay. Now, there are some questions here about this reading. For example, you need to pay attention while driving according to the reading, right? True or false? False. Okay, yes, according to the reading, false. You pay your groceries when they arrive. False, false. Also false, false, right? Yes. People don't use cash anymore. True. This is true. Remember, a, you usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. False. 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 And you need to go to the office every day. False. 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 You can do home office. A, you and your co-workers have to speak the same language. False. False. When you get a message, you can see the sender's face. True. True. And you have to go to a video store to rent movies. False. Not anymore, right? Not false anymore. Teacher. Yes, it's false. Okay. That's to confirm. Okay, your answers. Okay, good. But you know, but this was supposed to be in 2020. And now we are in 2023. That was three years ago. So I guess that some predictions are are true. Some others, for example, the, the one about the cash is more difficult because there is a still a lot of poverty, okay? Then uh, not, a, not all the people, only a low percentage of people can have access sometimes to a credit card, right? Or a, ban or a bank account. So that makes it difficult for poor people. Okay. Yeah. Now look at the unit. We're going to have section three. It says, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebrations okay celebrations now let's see the vocabulary first for celebrations and i will this is quickly it's only 20 seconds hi are you ready to begin okay. i want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Rem okay, so all this uh, vocabulary could be for different situations, right? For anniversary? Then we have a cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, a party. So we have a lot of presents. A roast turkey depends, right? Depends on the menu. Okay, the a roast turkey can be in different in other a, occasions too. And a wedding, right? A wedding is also another event. No problem with this vocabulary. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Okay. For example, if we want to... If we want to uh, celebrate an anniversary, no, anniversary, no, because it was there. 
uh, let's say um, a goodbye, a goodbye party for a friend. What are some things that we need? What is the what are like the details? So we need a place, right? A location. Okay, it can be his house, a hotel, a restaurant. Okay. Food. What it, we need food. Okay, food. What else? All right. Which one? Decorate. Decoration, I have to decorate. We need to decorate. Yes, the decoration is important. Okay, what else? Practice a vocabulary. Cake. A cake, yes, for a goodbye party. Remember, it's a goodbye party. What else? Beverage. Beverage, right? Beverage can be sodas, it can be water. Okay, all kinds of beverage in general. Okay, what else? Table and chair. Which one, Herbert? Maybe tables and chairs. Ta yes, or... tables and chairs. Yes, definitely. Balloons. Which one? What, what do you say? Uh, balloons. Diana? Balloons. Yes, balloons. Diana. What color? What color should the balloons be? What is a adequate color for a goodbye party? Black, mm. yellow, blue. Red, red, right? Uh, yellow, blue. Okay, mm -hmm. many colors to express happiness, maybe, right? Okay, good. What else? What else do we need? We have balloons, food, music, music, huh? music. Yes, definitely music. Basic. What else? What else it is necessary? We have the place, we have the food, tables, chairs, decoration, balloons, a beverage, friends. music, friends. Yeah, definitely invite friends and probably family members, right? Music. Okay, yeah, music. Mm -hmm. If gift, yes, the gift, presents or gift, yes, that's also necessary. Maybe a, a special card, right? A special card, okay. uh -huh. camera, yes, for pictures, okay. A photo, a, one, a person in charge of the photo, okay, one person, right, taking the, the official pictures, yeah. you know, oh, because, uh huh. But probably, you know, it can be one friend with the cell phone, but one person that if we will probably uh, share the pictures later, right? Because sometimes in the parties, we take a lot of pictures. Everybody takes pictures, but nobody shares the pictures. Okay, so you, if you didn't take pictures, you don't have pictures of yourself. Okay, what else? This is, you know, for a, let's say for a farewell, for a goodbye party. Uh, what what other kinds of parties do we have? We have anniversaries, wedding, a goodbye party. What else? Now mention types so, of birthdays. Birthdays. Uh -huh. Yes, Byron. Baby, Baby showers. Yes. Baby showers, correct. What else? What else do we need? For a baby shower. Uh, no, what other kinds of parties? Mm, weddings. Weddings, uh huh. Mm, graduation. Graduation, yes. What is the most important? Uh, what is the most relevant thing that we need for a baby shower? Games, I guess. No. <laughs> no. What is the um, most important in a baby shower? Food, uh, the pregnant. 
woman. <laughs> yes. You're not pregnant woman, no, no baby shower. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's the most important. Yes. No, I just I'm just kidding, right? Yes, definitely. You what know. what uh, the reason? Yes, you know, there is no reason if you don't have a pregnant yeah. woman. In a wedding, you need a man and a woman, right? You know, a couple. Yeah. Well, you need a couple. A couple. Okay, you need a couple to, yeah. to get married. Okay, for a birthday, then you need a person who has uh, whose birthday is that day, right? Celebrating. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, bachelor, so that's bachelor party. Oh, budget. Wow, yeah, bachelor party. Good, Herbert. Okay, bachelor party for men and for women, right? There is a bachelor okay. party for men and for women, right? Before, before you get married, yes. That's another party. There is a, for ladies, I don't know if for boys, but uh, for ladies, they have the pajama parties. Yes. Uh, you know, the girls get together one night, only girls, and they sleep that night in the same house, in the same place, and and they have fun, right? So that's uh -huh, correct, right? Also for kids, yeah. for boys too, I guess. In a discotheque. Oh. <laughs> But I'm a party in a discotheque. No. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow, yeah. wow, wow, Maria. That's that's wild. <laughs> that, that's that's aggressive. That's aggressive. Nah, it's okay. It's good. Okay, nice. Okay, so this is vocabulary for parties, right? Now we have uh how to create sentences using the relative clauses. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Okay. That was only 18 seconds. Okay, before I show you this. Okay, New Year's Day is a day when. Okay, so this is where I want you to take a look here. Also in the on the platform. Okay. Relative clauses of time. Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. What is A relative clause of time. A relative clause of time refers to a time, date, or moment previously mentioned. They are usually introduced by the verb be. Right after the verb be, a noun phrase may follow. Example, the day, the month, the year, the season. And because we're referring to time, we will use when. Take a look at the structure and work with us on the following examples. Date plus verb B plus a noun phrase plus a relative clause of time when plus complement. If we study the first example, Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to their loved ones. Valentine's Day is the date. <clears throat> is is the verb B. A day, a noun phrase, when relative clause of time people give presents to their loved ones would be the complement go on reading the other examples and try to understand them before you're asked to do the exercises 
We want you to finish the following sentence using a relative the pronoun when in our discussion box. Ready? Mother's Day is a day. A wedding anniversary is a time. December is a month. Okay, here you can use any uh, time of expression using the word when, okay? Okay, good. So you can use another one here. Here we can use relative clauses. Remember that a clause is a sentence. Okay, relative clauses. Uh, for example, uh, sometimes they are complete sentences and sometimes they are not. In this case, for example, uh, we can say a uh, Christmas is a time when people what? What can we say? Yeah. When people celebrate, open, uh -huh, open their hearts, celebrate. When people celebrate. Celebrate the birth of baby Jesus. Baby Jesus, yeah. Right. Could be. Baby Jesus. Or oh, when people celebrate uh, the, the family unity. Okay. When people celebrate the birth of God. So different ways that you can express this right so then this is for example uh other expressions that you can use with the close when okay what other other expressions that we can use tell me verbally and after you can write in the in the chat in the box oh in christmas the... teacher i no, in general for example the a uh, summer is the time or the season when people go to the beach here in El Salvador, right? Summer is the time uh, when people have vacation in the United States, okay? So tell me sentences about any situation. What could it be? A moment in your life. Think about a sentence. Yeah. Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. uh, uh, celebrate. Uh, when we can say Valentine's Day is Valentine's a day when when people celebrate mm -hmm. the love. Uh -huh. The friendship, right? Or uh, uh -huh. yeah. friendship, love or, or friendship? Yes, uh -huh. love or friendship. Correct. What else? Okay, let me. While you are thinking, let me check the attendance. For example, Amanda Yamilet. Yes, 
teacher. Okay, Ana Beatriz is here, yes. Andrea Dayanara. Yes, I'm here. Present. Yes. Mercy Esther, yes, right. And Angel, Angel Isaac, Angel. I saw Angel. Angel, Angel. I don't see Angel. Okay, Byron Giovanni. Yes, Cesar Ivan. Present teacher. Uh, that is. And Herbert. Present. Okay, Juan Carlos Cuyas. Present teacher. Yes, it's here too. Catherine. Yes, Catherine, no. No, it's not here today. Kenya, yes, right? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, Luis Miguel is here too. Maria Delmi is here too. Martin here. is here too. And Nuria Sarai. No. no Nuria is not here. And Rebecca. Present teacher. Yes, Rebecca is here. And Stephanie. Present. Okay, I mentioned everybody, right? Okay, good. So then sentences, when? Look at this exercise here. Okay, for example, New Year's Day is a day when? What's the option? People. Uh huh. People. People have parties with family and friends. All right. Good. April Fool's Day is a day when. April Fool Day is a day when when is it April Fool's Day? Uh, people sometimes play trick for on friends. Uh huh. Similar to the Innocence Day in El Salvador yeah. in December, on December 28th. 28th. Yes, 28th, correct. That's April Fool Day. May and June are the months. May and June are the months when? Many John adults choose, I mean, People in May, many countries honor workers. Um, yeah, could be. People in many countries honor workers. And the Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day is the day when? When people express, express their, their love, love someone. to someone. Express their love to someone. Labor, Labor day, day is a day when? People ah, here is what you said. In many countries, people workers. in many countries honor workers. Honor workers yeah. February is the month month when Brazilians celebrate carnival. Brazilians celebrate carnival. So then we have to change this one. May and June. Are the months which one is missing? Uh, many 
many young adults choose to get married? Many young adults choose to get married because it's usually the summertime, right? There is no rain. Okay. There you go. Okay, you see, this is the close, right? Many uh, New Year's Day is the day, okay, day is the sentence. And then you have when people have parties with family and friends. April Fool's Day is a day when people sometimes play tricks on friends. They have May and June are the months when many young adults choose to get married. All right. Then Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. People in many countries honor workers. And fair is the month of when. So you have when, when there is a connection. And that's why it is a close of time. Okay, so then for tomorrow, we're going to see the audio about the carnival. This will help develop skills in listening for a specific information, right? So we're well, going teacher, to... Teacher, about the survey. Teacher, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just one uh, about the survey. Uh -huh. I didn't do because uh, you, your, nom, your, your name... Name. Oh, yes, I saw that. Uh, they, and they I don't. Input. Uh huh. I don't know if they could solve the problem, but uh, yes, I saw that, and I, I reported also the situation, but they didn't say anything. Probably because they send it, and then if I probably they made a change, they had to send it again. I guess that's because okay. when there's Google, Google forms, uh, you can make corrections when people is working but after they started sending the 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 answers it's difficult to make a correction but yeah. you know yes yeah, no problem okay but uh in those cases what you can do is probably send the name or you can write in the in the email when it sends us the name right with your suggestions or whatever remember that uh, evaluations are very important for teachers right also for you, they are they are good in the topics, but for us, for example, how we are doing things is is good to know your opinions, right? So I think yeah. it's it's something really good that you that you always do it. Okay, people, uh, okay. I don't want I don't want you to get so tired this week. Oh, did they tell you about the change on Friday so that we have classes from Monday to Friday, two weeks? Yes. So this week we're gonna have classes Monday through Friday. The next week too, but we are going to finish. Yes, teacher. We are going to finish two days before, right? We were supposed to finish on uh, December 14th, but now we are going to finish December 12th. Okay. So okay. it's going to be, yes, especially. Okay, so have a very nice night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you. Go and rest. Thank you, you too. Okay. Yeah. Have Good a nice night. night. Good night. Bye bye. Mm.